Hey guys, it's Tipsy Tuesday, and here's your tip for the day. So this past weekend, I had an open house, and before I continue, the people that stole the balloons off my open house sign, hmm, who steals balloons? <laughs> Anyhow, so I had a great turnout. Thank goodness, and thank you to all the people that showed up on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Sunday, I had a couple who approached me, and they said, hey, Julian, we're thinking about selling our house too. What do you think? And I said, well, look, if you're gonna sell it right now, the most important thing is to price it right. Because if you are looking for a huge offer, multi-offers that we saw earlier this year, in the last couple of years, you're not gonna get it. So you gotta make sure you price it right. If not, you're gonna be on the market for weeks and maybe even months, and you don't want that because once the, uh, the house is on the market for that long, it's gonna get stale and people forget about it. However, if you're looking to sell the house, maybe not right now, but sometime this year, Maybe the best time might be towards the end of summer. That's because people are coming back from vacations, putting the kids back in school. Then buyers kind of like saying to themselves, hey, let's check out the market. Maybe we missed some good deals during the summer. And there were a lot of great deals. And then they'll keep that on for about, a, about what, a month and a half before they stop looking because now they're focused on the holidays and they say, okay, let's look uh, next spring. Guys, remember, Wednesday, tomorrow, the Fed is expected to raise rates about three quarters of a point. So um, keep it in mind that for every point that goes up in interest rates, buyers lose about $60,000 in buying power. That's right, $60,000 in buying power. So if you have a house that's maybe in the 500, 600 range, now they can afford maybe something that's in the high 300s or low 400s. So keep that in mind. Hey, next week, I'm gonna tell you something one of the lenders have told me or getting a great little saying for you buyers out there. Yes, interest rates have continued to rise, but it's still historically not that bad. And it's saying will make you think about it and possibly jump into that ring and buy a house now and jump in it right now when there's not a lot of competition. And that's your tip for this Tipsy Tuesday, guys. Salute.